I'm Dr. Leo. Why did I want to become an otolaryngologist? Um, I think that going through medical school, I decided very late um, in my career to pursue a career in otolaryngology, but one of the most profound aspects of the field was that you really have an opportunity um, to see ailments that pretty much everybody suffer from. Um, you have the chance to see um, geriatric patients, pediatric patients, men, women, um, people of all ages, of all backgrounds, and I, don't, I think it'd be hard to find anyone who hasn't met someone that hasn't had an ailment um, of the head and neck, um, with ear, nose, and throat. Um, and so I think the problems and the pathologies are ubiquitous among the population, um, and by pursuing a career in otolaryngology, I felt like I had the ability and capacity um, to help um, pretty much everyone um, that I could come across. What captivated me in terms of the surgical aspect was really the, the head and neck anatomy. I think it's one of the most complex, one of the most sophisticated anatomies in the body. Um, there are many things that people take for granted. Um, breathing for one, which is one the most basic necessity that we all have, um, is something that's threatened um, by um, tumors of the air digestive tract. Um, simple things like swallowing, eating, and drinking, um, these are things that no one really thinks about, um, but as soon as these functions are threatened or altered, um, it has a profound impact on patients' well-being. And one of the fortunes we have as surgeons um, is to actually physically cure people with our trade. Um, it's much more um, than just having the ability to diagnose, it's the ability to cure. Um, and we can do that with our bare hands, and I think that's one of the most phenomenal things about being a surgeon um, and the most captivating thing about my career.